Who's your favourite beetle and why? Who's your favourite beetle and why? Ah, uh, me? Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, Lennon, obviously. Lennon. <laughs> Lennon was in, in the garden with Ringo. Who's your favourite Beatle? I have, a, I have a, great, a great musician friend who's amazing. He's Paul McCartney. He's heard things you've never... He's heard wings and things and you've never heard. Paul is pretty fucking cool now. <laughs> he's so clever, like, to act stupid. <laughs> At a party, wasn't really... Getting in with the groove, if you know what I mean. He's a kid, he's a young fellow. And he spoke French at the party. Or at least appeared to speak French. <laughs> but, um, and they're like, oh, he's a French exchange student. And they're all really friendly to him. And then he pretended to speak English. <laughs> And he did this in Germany as well. And they were like, oh, Paul, your, your English is so good. <laughs> he, he's master of mine. You know, so why do you, who's your favorite Beatle and why? No, like I'm a Lenin man myself now, all the way through and through. You know, to me, Put it in a nice aphorism for you, a nice chunky Nietzsche, chunky one. Call again. Right. No, love and loss, love, love and loss, and trees and air and water. And love and loss. Lennon lost so much man. Yeah. Lennon lost yes. yeah, Lennon lost everyone. Like the second Lennon loved somebody, he lost them. You know what I mean? Fucking catastrophe. Oh, I love my mother so much. She's fucking kick ass. I know what I mean. With her banjo in the bathroom. Everyone, you know. I, mean? I wouldn't be, I wouldn't blame them for being so. Um, I do my best with my back against the wall, you know. <laughs> do this fucking mess. Who's your favourite Beatle and why? I love Krishna. I love the Krishna scene. I don't really get Harrison so much. Yeah, okay, key Georgie, he don't, he, don't, he, don't, he don't say too much, you know what I mean? I like the way he had like 50 ukuleles. <laughs> that was cool. Because so that happened to me as a guitarist. And then I discovered the ukulele. I was like, this is fucking, fucking excellent. <laughs> I was like, I was like, and it's great for learning theory, you know, if you want to learn theory, advice, a ukulele is very good for learning music theory. Um, you may need three or four notes, you need three or four, or four strings, it's lovely. Harrison anyway, the Christians, because I would, you know, it's a weird thing, I would give all the money to the Christians as well. And, you know, the Christians. <laughs> Who's your favourite Beatle and why? Hmm? Who is your favourite Beatle and why? Yes, a genius fucking polymathical Paul or them. The heartbroken. Um, no, he was not misogynistic. I'd take that back entirely. He was. Hmm? Sorry, excuse me. I'm having another moment. Beer is a constant we use to measure our pain. I'm drinking again. Um, our happiness can be somewhere. You don't have to go joke. Anyway, who's your favorite beetle and why?
who's left? Who's the first man? This is the reason I'm here. Oh, this, is, this is a fucking good beetle. This isn't a fucking good drummer. This is a fucking good beetle. He's the best beetle. <laughs> this is where I made this video. I realise it. I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus garden. Ringo Starr was a lord. And I just figured that out just there recently. Ringo Starr was a lord. These boys were a hot rock and roll brand. Hot rock and roll brand. They're going to Germany and back to England and all that. Ringo Starr was actually a lord. Marge Simpson <laughs> got it right. Yeah, best beetle. He's a good fucking beetle. <laughs> He's the best beetle. I just realised that. <laughs> Battle Royale. <laughs> Japanese deathology. <laughs> I think Ringo's still in the garden with John. <laughs> Which is why John's the best beetle. <laughs> like, I was right. I was fucking right. John is the best beetle. Because he's hanging out with Ringo. Most of <laughs> so if John was hanging out with his favourite person. <laughs> Don't worry, they're all safe, yes. The Vatican might put some cloth over your head, but Her Royal Majesty's appointment <laughs> had you all sn safely and snug in a yellow submarine. <laughs> yes, these are all safe in the yellow submarine. It's a pricey ticket, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not easy to get into the yellow submarine. I'd like to be under the sea in some ephemerality in an octopus's garden in the shade. <laughs> and Thomas and Percy. See, he didn't need to be anything. He could have been anything. He could have been as boring as trains. But it was good that your children receive the Lord and all of your children receive the Lord a Lord good Lord best beetle who's your favorite beetle and why John Lennon <laughs> <laughs>